squad up for big majors now. It's actually been great for New Jersey, but I think we're getting into the set as um, Swedish and Slox start out their winners' finals match. Yep. So Battlefielder bust. We have Slox holding stage control and playing very well. Still yet to get hit. So I'm always interested in what character Slox is going to go because he's, I mean, I Jack think he's one, of, yeah, he's one of the most dangerous people to play in an Iron Man because he really can't play the whole cast. Yeah. I know he doesn't like the Sheik Ditto, and James obviously has beaten Mewtwo King in the Sheik Ditto, so I think that's hard out. But I definitely think we could see uh, him go Falco, or we could see him go Mark. We're not seeing a Falcon either. Uh, yeah, I don't think he would try Falcon against Swedish. And, and I'm not thinking of Marth either. Uh, I think it's. I think this matchup might be pure spaces. I think. Um, um, yeah, I mean, Slox's Fox is amazing. It's just sometimes he like so decides good. halfway through a set that he doesn't like it anymore. Right? <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, I was winning, but like, I, I feel like I have to play Falcon now. Yeah, he's up 2-0 and he's like, Yo, you know what? Now I should play Sheik. <laughs> like, I think Slox just like looks at his socks and sees what color they are, and that chooses his character for him. He's like, oh, I got green socks on. I gotta, I gotta change characters. Yeah. All right, this should be down throw down smash. B and B. There's the bear. Okay. So he just doesn't go for his nair there because it won't hit. Yeah. To go for a bear like a regular boring sheep. Oh, he wanted so hard that ledge hop fair to grab. Right here though, he's got his tech chase. Okay, very We're going nice. Going into the blunder. Two. So let's see how many tech and play shines he goes for. Three. Uh, not three. Okay. Uh, so obviously the fastest way out of that is the tech and play shine. Yeah. But if you know they're gonna go for the tech and tech and play shine over it's and over so again, and you know to how to cover. press the C button at yeah. the right time. Yeah. Hey. So I'll the, take the damage. It really becomes difficult when foxes start or falcos and falcons too. But it, the tech chase really gets difficult when the other side starts mixing in no techs and all the different ground options you get from not teching. Yeah. It goes from like in place left to right to like a way bigger tree when you start considering like oh they won't tech and then maybe they'll SDI my reset and like it's way more complicated yeah there's nothing a chic man loves more than a spacey that always tech's down throw it's like oh yo i get to be swedish now yeah <laughs> i never have to worry about anything but three options and that's the beauty but slox oh, play chic knows the tech chase traps and knows how to get out of them and, and that's so i think that's a pretty valuable point uh, to bring up that, that he is a really Slox good sheep. First hand understands the matchup chart. Yeah. He's From he's beaten good foxes with sheik, and beaten good sheiks with fox. So he knows both sides of this matchup. Yeah. Oh, and James drops his tech chase there. Picks it back up though. Still yeah, slow in the fair. Let's see, Slox is a nice quick ledge dash get out of that pressure. Good Amsa. Oh. Went in for a dash dance and he shield pivot grab, but he just caught the air. Wow. James keeps throwing out these things to try to cover the ledge, and Slox just gets ledge and does like super quick ledge dashes. He's definitely been working on his ledge dashes. Yeah, it's been it's working out pretty well for him. But but crisp air dodge is here and, and air on punish. There. So yeah, as much as every Sheik loves to do ledge hop fair, because it's invincible and you get to do a fair. <laughs> if you uh, you get to do a yeah, fair. And it's just not safe on shield when you oh, do yeah. a high fair. Yeah. And like you're doing it because of the legend invincibility, so you're doing it fast. Like if they just shield it, you can do anything on shield. Alright, we're going to Fountain Dreams. This is Sheik's traditional counter pick. Um, I think this is gonna be a lot harder than it was, for instance, first like DJ, because Slox is gonna rush him down. Yeah. He is not just gonna like let James dictate the play. Not at all. Uh, at least that's gonna be the goal. Um, you can see already, with nice laser turnaround to grab. He has not stopped pressuring Swedish for the entire 20 seconds that we've been playing. And I think that's what he's gotta do with this, okay. especially the stage. Number two. Oh, he's out. Man, dude, Swedish is not on his tech chase game today. Yeah. Or, or right now. I mean, he'll probably pull it out a little later. Oh, wow. High needles. Oh, but SD. I, I, I commentated cursed him, dude. I was talking about how crisp his ledge dashes were. I'm sorry, Slo hey, Slox has the it. worst ledge dashes, dude. They're fucking terrible. <laughs> and I'd be surprised if we see any good ledge dashes from him. All yeah. right, now he's good. Oh, that bear really hurt Sheik. She has no double jump. You, no can, try jump. To, yeah, you can try to go an up onto the stage there, but at that percent, you're just going to get drill up smash. Drill shine up smash. 
Get up, shine up, just anything. It, yeah, you just make a smash. sandwich. Yeah, pick your ingredients, but it's gonna end it up smash. Yeah. All right, here's another. Wow, that was great DI to be able to get and to the, the ledge. And the clank, the F tilt, the F tilt and the up smash had like a weird interaction. F tilt can clank with stuff in the strangest situations. Like if Mart and Sheik do the right kind of trade, her F tilt will clank like it's made of metal. <laughs> Like, it'll do the metal clank sound with Oh, Mark. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, what? It's like, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have metallic clanks. I just mean, hey, the down smash of its ability. Yeah. Y you never know. I mean, yeah, but that's just one frame, man. Uh, maybe it just turns metal for one frame. One, yeah. one frame. Every move. Sheik is just a metallic ninja, Whoa, I guess. We got needles. That was great. As we were talking about how Swedish just kind of falling he, behind a little. He's picking it back up. And that's the edge on so many of the Sheiks have started favoring these days, right? Get him off stage. Wait a second, try to figure out where he's going, and then just needle. Yeah. Back air coming out. And that is an even game. 5% uh, on slots, not too big of a deal. Considering Swedish can lose his stock at 5. Oh, right. oh, so that's the exact that height of the platform for standing under up tilt with Sheik to be broken. Yeah, so right there is one of the reasons Sheik's love this stage. When they're at this mid height, uh, your up tilt becomes ridiculous. The only th if they're like really good they and they're shielding it, they can perfect shine as shield. But most of the time they're gonna have to ASDI down and try to crouch cancel shine it. Yeah. It's really hard because you just keep doing more up tilts. Uh, yeah. And even sometimes you even get hit by like them and you can still just and keep up tilting. If you, and if you crouch cancel, uh, you can keep get you hit get hit by both. Yeah. So what is that like? 18%. Yeah, it's like almost. I think it's 17% for a rep. It's, it's really and it's zone. like no, thank you. All right. So we have stadium. Okay, we do have stadium coming out from slocks. Uh, we saw this with. Uh, we saw. Did we see saw a fox cheek earlier? Yeah, we saw this uh, with uh, Swedish versus DJ. Yes. Okay, I was gonna say. I remember we watched this matchup before. Um, so yeah, this, this is a very different stadium. fox. This fox goes in. He looks for the ham and he tries to get it from the jam. Oh, and he's not. He you know what? Super deep. It's I have nothing but respect. It's unfortunate that he didn't get back, but he was over 100. Yeah. You got to take that trade if you can. Like, you just evened up a game that was really uneven. And yeah. also, you got to go for those deep edge guards versus Fox because, like, he's a bastard, man. You, you really got to just. He'll make it. Yeah. He will make it. He will make it back. You, you got to do go it. down there and push him into the blast zone. All right, we're at three. Oh. Okay, so he does the get up shine. Yeah. Finally works out in his favor. Second place shine. So good. Power shields it. Nice. Power shield immediate wave dash down smash. That's a great way to deal with ground options. There's the needles, there's the needles, there's the bear. And that is just becoming the standard cheek like edge guard. Just needle stall them and then bear. Yeah, and it's so it's so good. It's so good. So I mean the options are what? Like if you can perfectly time a shine stall and maybe you can side B and slip in. Another thing is that in comparison to DJ, Slox is gonna hit that wave shine every time. He's gonna hit, hit that wave shine up smash off the up B ending like. Yeah. Uh, probably every time, yeah. yeah. Uh, him, Crush, like other foxes that come here and They know the loop. Well. They know it. They know about the loop. They don't try to do fancy stuff. They get the Sheik off the stage, and then when they come back, they wave shine. And DJ can do it too, but the one time he had to, he was busy shooting lasers. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, Slocks running ahead with the lead here. But Ooh. I certainly wouldn't count Swedish. He had an interesting opportunity to start juggling the tilts there, and he kind of threw it away, but he managed to pick it back up. So let's see. Oh, again, I think that was a read that we dashed down smash. Because it covers two out of three options if you do this, like, spacing right. Yeah. It'll cover tech in place and tech, over, or tech in. And nice speed by Swedish, getting to the st getting to the ledge at a perfect time. Quadruple spot dodge broken. Dude, spam buffered spot dodge and then grab them in the face. You team does that a lot. Yeah. Uh, that's probably... He's alive, but now he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably game. Slox pulling ahead 2-1. Yep. Uh, looks like... So I'm going to guess Swedish. So let's see, he won on Fountain, right? Uh, yep, and he lost on Battlefield. He lost on the Battlefield. So I'm guessing we're going Yoshi's, yep. Uh, so Swedish really likes Yoshi's. 
he's one of the Sheiks that thinks like, yeah, Sheik's great on this stage. He doesn't mind the weird bottom blast zone. He just like, it suits him. He's a very pressure heavy Sheik. He likes to just tech chase and do a nice edge guard. And on this stage, a grab anywhere means you're like already ready to tech chase into that dash attack fair. All right. Here's two. Yeah. Here's three. And perfect texture sequence from Swedish. Yeah, that was beautiful. And that's why he likes the stage, right? Because a grab literally anywhere on the stage means he's going to be able to convert yeah. if he doesn't screw up. Okay. I have no idea what's going on, but I love it. <laughs> okay, we got the Nair coming out, but that's not going to do it. I'm trying to catch him with a short hop with uh, with those snares. Or just catch him on a platform. Yep, he's and looking, that'll do he's it. He's looking for a setup, and he's going to get it. And he's already up four stocks to two, less Swedish than a minute. making a great case. So Swedish is like, just telling me, he's like, yeah, you know, Yoshi's is good against Fox. And I'm like, you're a crazy man. Um, it's nonsense. Maybe but, the stage just isn't bannable. Maybe you focus. I mean, you have to focus on the FD ban regardless. Yeah. As Sheik. Um, but James legitimately like counterpicks the stage against Foxes, whereas most other Sheiks get counterpicked here. But so. if you have a solid punish game with tech chases, and you know, depending yeah. on the matchup, like we saw with DJ and Swedish, yeah. DJ beat him on Stadium, but lost on FD. Yeah, but it doesn't. It's not for everybody for that Fox Sheik counterpick. Right. Like, like Just how you say. Just because you think of like FD and Stadium as like the Fox counterpicks, like yeah, sure. Mean it's gonna if happen. the Fox is good with lots of space. Yeah. But. You know, Swedish likes small and closed spaces. And again, uh, we were talking about how it's so not cut. the Fox matchup, it's the DJ matchup. It's the DJ matchup. That's why that set was completely kind yeah. of different. Uh, and uh, every Fox is different, but I think Slox... Slox is a very different Fox than DJ. I think Slox is the kind of Fox that would benefit off of FD personally. I mean, like, yeah. Swedish does well too, but I think Slox will do better. I, I agree, because he's going to do longer wave shine chains, and he's going to do, like, overall safer stuff. Yep. Okay, gets the back air high and. Okay, good tech. Goes Not enough Sheik's trying to tech when Fox does let up air there. Yeah. Alright, we just have some neutral and everyone's just fishing. Oh, Slox doesn't confirm, but then he picks it up. Yeah, ton. And if Slox. If Swedish takes this stock. We've had so many Game 5 sets. Yeah. So many in this time. Almost, we've only had Game 5. Well, no, that's not true. We had a 3-1. We, so we, 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 we had 1-3-1. We had 1-3-1. We had 1-3-0, but... Uh, Who was 3-0? I don't remember, but it happened earlier. I think Moon beats him 3-0. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But... Oh, he misses his full hop for his up air there. He was looking to just do the staircase to heaven. Stairway to heaven. The up air way to heaven. He rolls Wow. Slox? Slox, Slox pop, pop, pop a little Swedish. bit. See that? Yeah. They're both kind of surprised. Like, oh. They're like, oh, that shit. happened. All right. All right. I mean, hey. Uh, I, can, can I just propose that Fox just up-airing someone off the top be called the up-air way to have